About two years ago, when I ran for mayor in my community, one of the main topics raised was a concern for the youth and where they were headed. Many times the suggestion was for more police presence and curfews. The whole discussion raised great concern and questions for me. I didn't think police or curfews were the answer. I began to put my focus on the youth and what issues really existed that hindered their development as leaders and positive contributors to our community. I recognize that if youth don't feel a part, feel ownership, feel power in their own space, they have less interest in communicating, in connecting, or even contributing. I learned that youth need to feel connected to themselves, to their families, and their community. Connection begets contribution, and the power of community grows exponentially. My research shows that one of the largest areas of challenge for the youth is existing within their own space, heart, and mind. When we don't feel like we have control of our lives, our emotions, our choices, our own power, we struggle to find purchase in the sandy soil of indecision and rocky cliffs of confusion. Our potential takes a back seat to just trying to cope with the day-to-day -day challenges with no map or mental focus on success. Let me ask, how often have you thought to yourself, oh, I hope my daughter doesn't have the same struggles I had with friends. Poor self-image, low motivation, indecision, the list goes on and on. Our children are our greatest asset and yet, too often seems like our most difficult challenge. We walk away in frustration, hoping and praying that something will happen to change the course. This does not have to be the case. I want you to envision your daughter bursting through the door, excited about school, feeling confident and happy in her relationships, comfortable with her self-image, eager to help out with family needs, and focused on her future. How would it feel if you knew your daughter could build a solid foundation within herself? This foundation would consist of an understanding of how her mind works, the power of her own thoughts and decisions, a focus on practices that put the power of decision, action, and consequences firmly in her sight. Hands-on training and practice in self-awareness and self-direction. Overcoming the power of peer pressure and putting the power of choice firmly in her grasp. Allowing her to create a healthy sense of purpose and direction giving her skills and direction to set in place principles of self-worth, self-determination, and self-control, creating patterns of goal-setting and achieving, building and strengthening the power of self, the confidence to succeed, and the ability to find strength to overcome challenges, learn from mistakes, and course-correct for positive outcomes. I believe that young women in particular are perfectly poised to attain these skills through personalized and specific coaching techniques, group training and discussion, individual sessions designed with each young woman's needs in mind, including knowledge gleaned from my personal experience and training. Through these experiences, we create an environment of learning and doing, which opens the door for positive change. Together, we put the reins of personal success firmly in her hands and give her opportunities for growth, increased confidence, and inner strength. It's never too late for positive change. What's her future worth?